This is what happened. Um, well, it's completely legal, which I can't believe. Oh, we just got this CAE shifter, which is very light, um, very light. Hello everyone and welcome to another video of speed engineering. Obviously, this is not a German video. So this is our very first clip in English. And we decided that we will change the language from German to English. And um, we have some series ongoing and we also had some, some shots and some cutted videos which are still in German. So there will be a mix in the future. But uh, as soon as the projects are done, which we have done in German, we will switch completely to English. So this is also, I want to be honest with you, some kind of a little test. So I'm very curious because we could end up in a very difficult situation where I'm talking English, the complete video, and there will be no English speaking audience because the algorithm of, uh, of YouTube doesn't recognize that we switch to English. So it could be the first one or two or maybe three videos um, that we don't have any English audience. So I would be very interested in, or you could, you could really help us if you are not from Germany, watching this video, please leave a little comment. Just say, hi, I'm not from Germany. I'm from, from wherever. Um, would be a nice feedback for us to know if there is already some English speaking people. And uh, the second thing is, I have to apologize for my not perfect English and also for my German accent. So what are we doing today? The main actress of this video will be, first of all, the Hyundai and second, the Supra, which is a two liter Supra. And uh, what we did in the past is we started this project. Uh, first we had the Supra and then we bought the Hyundai i30N uh, because they, those two cars were competing against each other on the racetrack, which is very, very interesting because um, they have almost the same specs. Two liter turbo, four cylinder engine, and another two liter turbo four cylinder engine, round about the same weight and round about the same power and torque. And we are modifying both cars step by step and um, comparing them about, or, or the comparison is who is faster, front wheel drive or rear wheel drive, and uh, what is the benefit of each car. And today I want to give you an update on what we have done to the i30. And because there we have lots more modification than, than we have done to the Supra. But in this case, I also want to give you a quick quick review and a quick update on the projects we are working on at the moment after we will compare those two cars. And very important, a little sound check of the i30N because I think that this is way too loud to be legal in Germany. It's just an assumption, but um, yeah, you will make your own opinion after we make a sound check. So first of all, uh, quite a little project, it's quite small, um, but it took us a lot of time to develop it. Those are car nuts for the M2 competition and uh, it took quite a long time, if you take a look here, to adapt them to fit plug and play and some of you might recognize the design of those car nuts because they are, this is the complete design of the M4 GT4. And uh, you can not buy those car nuts for the M2 competition until now. So these are the first prototypes. We will assemble them and look how it works. Otherwise, we already have lots of developments and lots of products for the M2 competition, like brake cooling kits, seat mount kits, etc. But we won't go into detail for this car in this episode. This is another very interesting pocket rocket from, uh, yeah, it's quite, in Germany, I would say, a quite famous customer. And this car will be also shown at an even more popular channel in Germany. Um, so the, uh, our job is to make a street legal race car out of this Suzuki Swift Sport. Uh, we have started with uh, getting rid of all the interior. We were flexing and cutting out things. We were painting it new. Um, we did a complete strip of the uh, Cable harness, I think it's called cable harness, just a second. No, it's wiring harness. I think this situation could uh, could come up uh, quite often where I have to use uh, the Google Translator. The wiring harness. Uh, we stripped the wiring harness and we welded in the roll cage. 
and uh, we also scanned the complete interior to design our own seat mount kits to be as low as possible. Also um, for the for the cooling system, a custom product, and this car will get a complete custom aero kit. So we will have ducts on the hood. We will have ducts also um, behind the wheels. We will have a wing in a, in a TCR look, like the Hyundai TCR, for example. Uh, will be quite big. We will have uh, a CFD analysis to, um, to really have a better performance after the arrow so that it's not just an, just uh, um, so that it should be a performance part and not just a tuning part for the look and uh, yeah I think there will be we already started this in German and um, I think we will switch also here to English at least at the end when it's finished so we will show you the complete build and uh, we will show you at least the complete summary when it's done in English promise so Let's talk about the Supra. Oh no, there is another interesting project going on. Uh, what we're doing here in uh, cooperation with our partners ESD EV Technologies, which are specialized for full electric builds. So they're doing engine swaps. I don't know if you still call it engine if it's, if it's, um, if it's electric. So I think you call it motor in this case. Oh. This car will get a complete engine swap. It's a 114. I would say it's the fastest 114 maybe on the earth. I'm not sure. I haven't seen any faster. It's, it's, it's really a 114 and uh, it runs sub 8 BTG on the Nordschleife, which is uh, for me, it's quite fast. And uh, it's the, the original engine, but the, the engine inside is not the topic of this project because we will get rid of it and it will get a Tesla Model 3 motor with Porsche uh, Taycan batteries. And um, yeah, we will also get into detail. We started the series. I think we did one shot uh, or the first clip in German, but for the second one, we will already switch to English. So if there is some English speaking guy or girl out there who is watching this, this series will be in English in the future and we will get into detail and show you everything. So now let's come to the Supra. The Supra is uh, one of my favorite cars and uh, what we did here, the modification is, is not too big. Okay, so German Autobahn. So uh, this, is, this is quite typical. Our, our workshop is next to the German Autobahn and this is a, a, a piece or part where um, there is no so it might sound like you heard you just heard um, the Supra the modifications uh, well the car is almost stock I also have to say that we are not running those wheel or tire setups uh, we are doing I think 10 10 to 80 inch pro track wheels and here I think the same setup but we are running uh, 245 tires so the, the width is 245 and here we go with a square setup 265 uh, Yokohama A052 no A052 I think they're called A052 it's really a perfect tire um, maximum grip. The suspension is almost stock. Uh, we just have H and I, H and R springs and adjustable camber plates from Virus Engineering to get a little bit more camber on the front axle. I think we are driving like negative 3.5 degrees, which is quite a lot, but it works perfect for the car. And uh, we have a brake cooling kit, endless brake pads. So the brake setup is, is awesome. So the OEM brake is really, really, really good and very, um, very durable. Our brake cooling kit, which is also in our shop and which is very new. So those are the first prototypes and we will list them in, in the next one or two weeks in our shop. A seat mount kit, not only for the recovery pole position, but for every kind of bucket seat. Uh, you're sitting very, very low, so low that my girlfriend can't even see anything because it's too low. And uh, therefore, the result is this year. This is what happened. Um, well, 
So that's the result of uh, quite a good product. Thank you therefore. And I think that's it. So the rest of the car is completely stock and it performs very, very, very well. Better than it was expected because um, I don't know, in Germany, the car is not that popular because some YouTube influencers or some quite, quite big influencers uh, had that opinion that the car doesn't perform at all on the Nordschleife. Um, a friend of mine was driving it when it was more stock than now and his first lap was a sub-8 BTG Nordschleife. So I would say it's quite fast. And let's come up to the Hyundai i30N. The Hyundai i30N um, has some further modifications. It has a KW Club Sport suspension. It has also, as mentioned, a different uh, wheel and tire setup. It has our custom brake cooling, but that one is quite special. Um, the, the brake cooling, which is inside now, we will show in another episode, uh, you can buy in the shop. But it has some additional brake cooling, um, which is very, very fancy. It's, it's quite a cool design. Um, it has a Wagner intercooler, quite big. Also street legal for Germany. It has an additional oil cooler because what we saw is that we had oil temperature on the racetrack, like for example, Bilsterberg. Most of you might not know it if you're not from Germany. Uh, we had oil temperature more than 140 degree. And um, the next thing is, yeah, brake pads. Brake pads from Hyundai. Uh, the Paget. I don't know if in English it's called Paget or Paget. In Germany we say Paget. Uh, RSL, I think 29. Also street legal in Germany. You can buy them from Hyundai directly. The wing, also from Hyundai. Very nice. And seat mount kits from us. Seat mount kits for, for bucket seats, in this case also for the Recaro pole position, but the seat mount kits are adjustable for every kind of, of bucket seat. Um, you can also buy those kits from Hyundai, but why didn't we take those kits as the other things? I mean, Hyundai is doing really great things and also the Hyundai performance parts are really, really good and completely street legal in Germany, but they are a little bit too high and a little bit too heavy. So we made them a little bit lower, centered in the middle of the steering wheel, quite light and very stiff. So um, yeah, also available in our shop. And what is also very interesting, and I wonder I'm, what I wanted to show you the most, is the exhaust system. Because the exhaust system is, believe it or not, stock. It's complete stock. The only thing we've changed is the downpipe. And the downpipe, has a three, I don't know, I think it's 200, a 200 cell cat. I think you call it cat. I don't, I don't mean the pet, the cat, the, the catalyst. I think it's called catalyst, katalysator in German. Um, yeah, that's the only thing we've changed. We have extra paid a lot of money to get it street legal because uh, in Germany to, to have a street legal race car is quite a challenge. And um, if you want to, to build it fully legal, then uh, you have to pay a lot of money. So just for the downpipe, we paid 2,500 euro. It's plug and play. You don't have to go to the TÜV. You don't need any certification. You need to do anything. It's completely legal, which I can't believe because listen to that. I mean, this might not be very loud for you because uh, maybe, I don't know if some, some, some guys from the US are watching, um, this could be normal for you, but here in Germany, you could end up in jail for this. And uh, honestly spoken, I swear, the exhaust system is complete OEM. It's complete stock, 
we didn't touch it at all. We just changed the downpipe. And before changing the downpipe, it was almost as loud as now. So it is just a little bit louder. And um, yeah, that's something special. And I think that we will have lots of conversation with the police um, because they will find it hard to believe. Ah, there is there is one one additional mod I want to show you, which we will um, which we will implement in this car. Just a second, I will, I will get it. Here it is, the short shifter. What we wanted to do is uh, we wanted to develop our own short sh short shifter for this car and also for this car. We might do it for this one, but we just don't have the time to do it for the Hyundai and. Uh, we wanted to go on track and uh, we wanted to have it as soon as possible. And uh, a friend of mine had it on stock. So we just got this CAE shifter, which is very light, um, very nice manufacture. And it's a short shifter to get closer to the steering wheel to reduce the distance between the steering wheel and the shifting knob. And uh, yeah, I think most of you know what this is. Uh, we will show it when it's implemented in the car. This is the next modification. Um, I'm very interested in the comments if there is even one English comment from a guy who's not from Germany. And uh, yeah, would be happy. I would also be happy if we still would have some German uh, viewers and listeners. Uh, ein kurzes, kurzes comment an, an die deutschsprachigen Leute, Leute hier. Ihr könnt auch eine automatische Untertitelübersetzung einschalten. Die funktioniert in der Regel ziemlich gut. Also, könnt ihr da gerne dranbleiben. Yes, thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, sorry for the new, maybe English guys. There will be a couple of German videos, but uh, yeah, in the future, it will be most of the time English. I'm uh, yeah, happy to read your feedback. Thanks for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye.